it's time to start writing Objective-C code. And what I've done is to create a new project that I'll be using frequently to demonstrate aspects of the syntax of Objective-C. What I did was to go into Xcode and to create a new project. And the project that I created is the master detail application template here. I select this, and then I start to fill in the blanks with the name and so forth for the project. I use this project because it's a reasonably complex project and it uses core data. So it's a real life project, not just a simple hello world type of project. It's something that is the basis for many, many apps that you'll probably write. I'll cancel out of here and skip the various screens that I go through to select the folder where I'm going to store the project and so forth, because you can follow through on them as you go. Here we have the project that's been built. I'm going to come up here and look at the project itself, and you're going to see that there is no code signing identity. You need a code signing identity to distribute your projects, and you need a code signing identity in order to set the capabilities for a project, which you would do up here in the Capabilities tab. And those are things such as iCloud, you can see maps and so forth. You need to identify yourself in order to gain access to these capabilities. In the general sense, you can build and run an app without code signing identities. So don't worry about this warning. You can fix the issue. If you are a registered developer, go to developer.apple.com, put in your credentials, and get the code signing identities that you need. But for a basic app like this, you don't need to worry about that. What this app does is to build an app for iPhone and iPad. See, there are two versions down here. That will let me deal with a master view controller and a detail view controller. What we'll do now is to build and run the app so you can see where we're going. It's running on an iPad simulator up here. And I can see down here, here's the simulator. It's going to take a little while for the app to fully launch on the simulator. And what I have here is a detail view controller. Notice that I'm scrolling down so that I can see the top of the window. And I have up here the master view controller, which is a list of all of the items that have been built in this app. And I can select one and see its details. I can come over here and rotate the iPad. Again, I have to scroll down so I can see the top of it. Here is the master view controller, and here is the detail view controller. When it is in a vertical orientation, the master view controller appears on top of the detail view controller. So let me just rotate it again, come back up here, and what is the content of this app? Now you'll see here, there's a message here, detail view content goes here. I can create a new object. This is all in the code for that template. It's a simple object, it has a timestamp. I can create a second one, and I can select either one of these and notice how the detail view controller changes. So watch down here as I select the object with a timestamp that ends in 1249. You'll see here I have that data from this object. Now I'm going to select the other object that ends in 1242, and you'll see I am switching the objects that are shown in the detail view controller. That's the app that we're going to build. It's reasonably simple in its presentation, but it's an app that gets us into lots of aspects of Objective-C, and we can use it to demonstrate most of the things I'll be talking about.